So now here at the flying field, I'm going to show you my settings. My basic settings, um, of course, aileron, elevator, rather. I will have all the throws and the RC groups uh, build thread, so you can uh, check out the uh, throws there. Uh, basically, I have here, I have a uh, five flight modes. For me, this is speed mode. Speed mode, uh, the wing is molded in speed mode, so speed mode is in section when the tab and the ailerons uh, are basically in line. So that's speed. This is cruise, it's about two millimeters down, okay? And now switching to a, a thermal. In thermal, I have a slider here. This is, by the way, my transmitter. I have, I've molded my transmitter so I can have a better uh, grip. Now, what I have here is I have a slider. So in, in thermal mode, I can add just a little bit of camber you can see it moving when I when I move the slider um, it starts out as a, about four millimeters three and a half four millimeters of a camber and I can add a camber to all the way up to float which is a five and a half six millimeters you can fly in this plane in really calm conditions maybe even more but I find that I don't need much more than about five millimeters uh, from four to six millimeters the plane doesn't sink a whole lot slower maybe just a tiny tiny bit slower but in a, when you have a, a more camber it's more of a one speed aircraft uh, it slows down so if you have some lift uh, that you need to reach uh, it's better to fly to it with about four millimeters of camber and when you want to park in that lift to fly a little bit slower so you don't get spilled out of that very 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 gentle lift in the morning uh, switch to about uh, six millimeters uh, or five millimeters uh, that's usually what I do it slows the plane down just a little bit and then you can um, just sort of just park the plane there um, each mode has a different um, uh, each mode has different throws for the aileron elevator and rudder each mode has different um, uh, differential that is because uh, the wing um, when you're moving the aileron the, the wing creates a slipstream that that hits the elevator now when you are in different flight speeds you're in different a uh, flat deflections the slipstream on the elevator is just a little bit different it goes a little bit lower a little bit higher um, and it affects the uh, elevator differently so you have different trims uh, for different um, um, <clears throat> for different uh, uh, flap deflections and uh, for different speeds obviously and when you are now moving the ailerons that slipstream uh, affects the elevator but it affects it differently because it starts from a different place and it finishes in a different place so you need slightly different differential for each of these uh, conditions now what did what m when you're moving the, the ailerons what happens is that the slipstream affects the elevator it it, it creates more or less a, a downforce on the elevator and what happens is that that you're rolling and the plane is pitching down so the plane is is flying and when you're rolling it noses down or when you're rolling it noses up so you, what happens is you get a you get a coupling you, you get a coupling between speed between roll between rolling and pitching and what the differential does it it takes away that coupling so when you're rolling you want to roll on the axis of the fuselage you want to roll cleanly and then you don't have any uh, problems with them um, uh, you know maintaining speed so what happens is if you have the plane when you're rolling it's pitching up you need less down movement of the flap okay 
if the plane is pitching up you want to reduce the amount of lift from the wing you have the the aileron that, that that's coming up needs to come up needs to come up more okay so if the plane is rolling and pitching up more differential that means less downward movement of the aileron okay the differential is the difference between the amount of movement up and the amount of movement down so you want more differential if the plane is pitching up in roll and you want less differential if the plane is pitching down you can reach what what people are calling reverse differential that means that aileron is going and is moving down more than it's moving up um, but that's just a, a reference for, for for me for example in this plane um, in cruise mode I have about 11 millimeters of aileron going up and 14 millimeters of aileron going down but that is reference to the tab so if I reference it to the uh, aileron in cruise mode it's actually just a little bit of positive differential which will be 13 millimeters of up movement and and about 12 millimeters of downward movement uh, most planes that I found it's good to start with symmetrical uh, differential uh, you know zero differential symmetrical movements and start from there and I will uh, play around with the I will change the, the differential settings until I get a clean roll now there are, it, it's a little bit uh, difficult to sometimes to differentiate between um, coupling in pitch and coupling in yaw uh, coupling in pitch causes the plane to change the speed it, it rolls and it just brings the, the nose up or down coupling in roll brings in, in, in yaw brings the nose left and right so you need to play with one and play with the other until you find it a, a, the correct amount a, to decouple the yaw what we have you can see when I'm moving the ailerons okay I'm moving the aileron stick now and you can see the rudder moving I have about three millimeters of a uh, aileron to rudder mix in um, in cruise mode uh, uh, thermal is a little bit more and speed is, is a little bit less uh, now what this does is it again it decouples the yaw so you're rolling on the axis okay think of my middle finger as as the fuselage axis you're rolling on the axis of the fuselage and you don't have any of this this is yaw and you don't have any of this this is coupling in pitch and when you can get the plane to fly cleanly uh, you will usually be able if you set up all your planes like this you will be able to fly different models a lot of time uh, in, in the past I've had problems switching from one model to another because I would get used to the coupling of one model and then I would move to another one and instead of just changing the the memory on my transmitter I needed to change the model memory in my brain as well I needed to fly the plane differently because it had different coupling today when it's clean I can switch between models of different types and I can uh, even between you know DLGs F3K models and F5J models and F3J models and F3F models I can switch and and it's much easier for me because there's no coupling I just want to roll I roll the plane I want to pitch I pitch the plane I want to yaw yaw the plane and and they fly different speeds they have different performance but the handling characteristics are much more in line you know they're much more similar between uh, one and the other um, uh, uh, flaps to elevator to flap mix when I'm pulling up on the elevator okay I'm getting flap movement okay I'm getting camber that's elevator to camber uh, the reason is that when I'm pulling up elevator and I, I want the plane to pitch okay but uh, I, elevator just pitches the plane in order to when you're in a turn and you're just pitching the plane will continue moving forward but that it's not what happens it's the plane turns why does it turn because when you're pitching the wing has a higher angle of attack higher angle of attack means that it has more lift what causes the plane to turn to maneuver 
is the lift of the wing. So the elevator uh, uh, pitching up uh, is just one, it's just the first step in making a plane maneuver. The next step is to create more lift from the wing. Uh, and in order to increase that lift, I drop the trailing edge a little bit and that makes the wing more uh, efficient, okay? Because if I want to create lift, a, a, a wing, a, a section of the wing that creates more lift and less drag is a cambered section, okay? So when I'm adding camber, I'm adding lift. Instead of adding a lot of pitch, I'm adding a little bit of pitch and I'm getting more lift. So I need to introduce less elevator movement in order to pitch the plane less and I get the same amount of lift, okay? So I'm pulling on the elevator and I'm getting a, it's something like a two, three, extra two, three millimeters, sometimes four millimeters of, a, of flap across the wing. It depends on the flight mode. And again, you can check my settings later. It, when I'm pushing on the elevator, when I'm pushing down on the elevator, okay, when I'm pushing down, the, uh, the same thing happens. Instead of, of pitching the plane down a lot in order to reduce the lift, I'm pitching it a little bit and raising the, the trailing edge so I get less lift and the plane noses down. So I don't need a lot of pitch changes in order to get the maneuvering that I want. Uh, in the end, when, when you look at the polos, when you look at the physics, it, it means that the plane is uh, reacting quicker with less elevator movement and is not uh, and is uh, much more efficient. It, it keeps more energy. Um, it reacts better to, to the elevator inputs. Uh, rather, rather, I have quite a bit of movement. I usually want the rudder to be there. Uh, I have about 15 millimeters of uh, rudder pretty much all my uh, flight modes um, on the elevator I have a lot of down okay I want a lot of down movement in order to drop the nose uh, at, at the end of the launch so I don't stall the plane I usually have it on you're going to see something interesting here did you see that jump when I'm when I reach about 80% of the stick movement Okay, it, it jumps from about a dual rate of about 70 to a dual rate of like 100 uh, because I don't use the end of the stick but I want it to be, I, I want the entire movement to be, I don't want a lot of movement so I can do small corrections. If I have a linear a value of, of twice of what I need for full down, I will have a lot, a lot, a lot of uh, movement even at, at small stick deflections. So I have a very big dual rate uh, here and just at the end of pushing it down I get a lot of movement. That way I can get lots of elevator movement but around the area where I fly I have very uh, precise uh, movement and very good resolution. Uh, you need to you need to try it. it, it, it you'll find it, it's quite... Uh, it's quite nice actually. It took me some time to set up but, but it's quite nice. Um, I have as much down elevator as I can, about 15 millimeters. Top elevators, you don't get as much down as you get in the bottom mounted elevators. Uh, but top mounted elevators in my experience have slightly cleaner flow on the elevators. So, if you're not a super 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 hard launcher, super hard launchers usually tend to prefer the bottom elevators um, in windy turbulent conditions when you're moving the sticks all around usually the top elevators are less affected uh, by the changes in slipstream of the wing and fly a little bit uh, a little bit quieter. Um, the bottom mounted elevators when you bump the sticks around a lot 
it tend to accelerate a bit more sometimes it's nice other times not that much it, it depends on your flying style and, and and what you like i i have both a bottom elevator and a top mounted elevator i like them both uh, they fly very 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 similarly but they're not exactly the same handling is just a little bit different but it's very very subtle most people would probably it's more in the head than than, than in the sticks uh, i still haven't decided what i like more um, i think the for launching i think the bottom mounted elevator i like the fact that i can push it later the top mounted elevator it seems to be a little bit calmer uh, in certain situations uh, but again it's very very subtle now there are i will post two different um setups one for the top elevator one for the bottom elevator they're nearly identical the the, the changes it's either in my mechanics uh, you know the different slightly different angle of the ailerons or it may be uh, because of the slipstream effect of uh, the ailerons on the elevator but the difference is basically the dif wing differential other than that it's it's pretty much exactly the same it's, it's, it's almost exactly the same um, let's see if I have some other interesting issues um, ah, talked about flight mode so I have the three flight modes here the, the speed the cruise the thermal I have here this is this is the I'll put it here so you can see so I have the the speed the cruise the thermal and this is the my start switch okay it's it's here when i'm pushing this this is uh, the launch and this is launch preset launch preset the flaps are a little bit down okay it's practically cruise mode i have elevator up hope that you can see this i have elevator up and i have a little bit of rudder input that that's going in okay now what what um i basically do is that i launch holding this switch this is a switch that i've changed i have moved it around okay so i can um, uh, throw with my right hand i'm a right hander and so i hold this uh, the switch okay and when i let go uh, i basically let it go as the plane is goes vertical and then in this flight mode okay the, the launch launch mode the flaps are about half a millimeter up that's the minimum drag setting of the airfoil and as it's uh, going up I have a it's the elevator is trained so that it goes just ballistic I mean it goes straight up no pull up no push down nothing and at the end of the launch I will get it out of, of launch I will push down the nose and I will a switch the switch to one of the flight modes and then i choose which flight mode i'm going to be in um, as i'm coming in for a landing i will grab the peg and just as i grab the peg i push my launch preset i will make my turn uh, and throw release and i'm in um, a, the launch mode and then i'm going out of it into one of the three flight modes okay so that's about it I th another couple of things that I will make later is probably a, a little um, um, a little clip about ballast and uh, and uh, CG um, so see you in the next clip